Hi, this is Charlie Page, and I want to share with you how to find the perfect lead magnet idea. You know, everyone tells you that you need a lead magnet. You've heard that probably 10,000 times. And what it needs to be like, it needs to be a PDF and high quality and easy to consume. And those are all good things, but no one tells you where to get the ideas. So let's fix that right now. What I want to do is hand you on a silver platter a light bulb light bulb okay here we go in the next few minutes you'll discover three ways to have endless lead magnet ideas and this is important because you want to have multiple lead magnets for every product you you uh, promote it's great to start with one it's good to have one lead magnet something to give away to get people to join your list but people will get tired of seeing the same thing over and over again so occasionally you want to create a new one. And so when you do, you need an idea. That's what this is about. If you like this, you can get much more like this at charliepage.com. We give away most of what we produce for you for free so that it can help you. So visit us there. All right, let's get to work. Idea source number one is your customers if you have them. Now, if you don't have customers now, you've never made a sale online, don't tune out. Give me a second. I'm going to get to you, but I want to share first the best source of, of information for creating lead magnets is your customers if you have them. They're your best source by far. They know you, they like you, or they wouldn't have bought anything from you. So simply ask them what they need. It's really simple to do. Now let me give you a hint. If you do this, if you send an email out to your list and say, what do you need? And you make it an open-ended question. And by the way, that's the best way to go. I mean, you can go through these multi-step survey things and, and that's fine. But listen, the most effective technique, send an email out to everybody on your list and say, what's your number one need right now? Let them reply back to you. And here's my hint, because I've done this a dozen times. Look for the people who reply in depth. Yeah, it takes work. It takes work to read through all the replies, but it's well worth it because now you can meet their needs. You know, Ziegler was right when he said, you get everything in life you want by helping other people get what they want. So when they're telling you what they really need and then you can create a lead magnet around it and give it to them for free, it's tremendous goodwill. It's the right thing to do and it helps you sell more. So it takes work, but it will yield the best data by far. So if you do this and you send an email out that says, hey, what do you need? You get back 100 replies or 1,000 replies or 20 replies. Take time to read them and look in depth at the ones that take time to really answer. It's much better to get five paragraphs about what someone really needs than to get, I need money. That's what I get a lot. I get, I need traffic, I need money. And I'm not diminishing that these people really need that. I get that. But if they're not willing to invest the time to answer the question, then, you know, that says something about where they are. The best one I ever received, by far, I need a woman. <laughs> I've got a, a guy who wrote back, I think he's a guy who wrote back and said, I need a woman. Bad. Well, couldn't help him with that one. All right, no customers, no problem. Here are a couple of sources that will really help you out. These are two excellent sources that I use and I believe you'll find very helpful. Idea source number two, forums in your niche. Now, a forum is simply a chat room, however you want to talk about it. You know what a forum is. Forums are in every niche conceivable. Finding them sometimes can be a little bit tough, so I want to help you do that. People are talking in your niche, whether your niche is weight loss, make money online, travel, or personal grooming. It doesn't matter. People are talking in your niche. And if you listen, you'll discover what they really need because much of what they share on forums is what they need. They're talking about their pain points. It's only natural and it can be a great source for you, a great source of information for you. So here's how you get started. You start with Google and you go, you take a search in Google for forums in your niche by typing this into Google. Now you type in the name of your topic and then the word forum in quotes. Okay, so don't type in topic with the brackets. That's the name of your topic. Let's say it's travel. Let's say it's pet grooming. Let's say it's making money online. You type that in with the word forum in quotes and you're gonna get great results. So you replace the word topic with the area you're researching. 
Let me give you an example in the knitting niche. Yep, knitting. I love people who knit. They buy a ton of stuff. And I've worked over the years with people in this niche. And they're great, great customers. So you type this into Google. Knitting forum in quotes. That's the key, in quotes. Be sure to use the quote marks because that means that Google is only going to show you results where both of those words next to each other are in the result. So here's what I just found in Google. There are 111,000 results for knitting forums. I just did this today. That's 111,000 results. That's a lot of people, my friend. And because of the quotes, it's much more accurate than if you just put in forums about knitting or forum knitting forum without quotes. Here's your idea source number three. Very easy to use. Knowledge sharing sites. These are super popular. Now, I'm not really talking about Wikipedia, although Wikipedia could be considered a knowledge sharing site. I'm talking about sites where there's a lot more interactivity. The best known is Quora. And the key here is to search for the search the site itself for the topic you're interested in. So if it's knitting, that's what you would search for inside Quora. And then listen in to what people are asking. If you want to participate in the conversation, that's great. No problem. But if you just want to lurk a little bit and listen in and see what people are saying, that's great too. And especially look for what they're complaining about. If you find multiple people complaining about the same thing, you found a pain point, and if you can solve that pain point with a free lead magnet, you're going to build yourself a mailing list and be able to help people because that's their pain point. Then create a lead magnet that solves the problem. And, you know, partially, of course, no lead magnet can be the entire solution. So you want to create a useful but incomplete piece of information that helps them take a step, but not necessarily all the steps, because after all, you're trying to sell a product. And then you offer it to them for free. Here are a few resources to get you started in your research. These resources alone will give you endless ideas for great lead magnets because people will be telling you exactly where it's hurting. Quora is the first one, and this is what Quora looks like. There's a picture of me I had signed in. Uh, notice the thing at the bottom where I, I did the red arrow. Should I continue blogging with dot recipes or register a dot com domain for my recipe blog? Now, I'm a guy who teaches about blogging and I sell a product about blogging. So this is a perfect piece of information for me. It just happened to be there today when I started making this video. But that's the type of thing I'm talking about. These, this is a business question. It's not just a personal, political, or something like that question. All right, Stack Exchange is resource number two. And here's what Stack Exchange looks like. You get there by Googling it or go stackexchange.com. It's a community of questions and answers. That's what it is. A lot of people asking a lot of questions and people sharing answers. And they sort the right answers on top, the best answers. 168 communities. And these are passionate people, so it's a great resource for you. Here's another one called Boardist. I don't know this one so well, but does this look familiar? Kind of like they took a little inspiration from another site that we know. Hey, that happens all the time. People do competitive things, so no problem there. This, I hear, is a very active site, and some people like it a lot, so it's worth checking out. Reddit is another one. Now, warning, Reddit can be the Wild West. It is a super active site, and you're going to see words on there that you might not like. Uh, so be aware. I mean, I'm a Christian, and I don't like seeing all this nasty stuff, so I'm careful. But Reddit can be a tremendous resource if you use it properly. The level of activity is very, very high, which is what you want for doing quick research. You see, you don't want this research project to take a month. You want to be able to find out in three to five days, just not full-time days, but three to five days where you spot check the site. What are people talking about? Then you can create your lead magnet quickly. So here's a picture of Reddit. Notice this. I, I went ahead and zoomed in on this first one. This cross-stitch artwork took her four years. Interesting story. Look at the number of comments. 699 comments. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, that's great, but I'm not in the cross-stitch community or niche. Think about this. People who cross-stitch, they don't just do that. They also travel. 
They also probably want to make money online. They also might want to have a website to display their work. You know, think about all the things that a person does that might touch on what you do. So Reddit can be a tremendous source simply because it's so active. The key to Reddit is subgroups. You don't really want to go to their main site and start scrolling around. What you want to do is search the site by keyword, whatever your niche is, that's your keyword, and then take a look at the subgroups because those subgroups are like little communities of people. So there you have it, several great ways to have endless lead magnet ideas, and I mean it. This information is being refreshed every day, many, many times a day. And what people need right now is what they're talking about right now. And when they share that openly, they're sharing their pain point. If you need to know how to create a lead magnet or even what a lead magnet is, visit me at charliepage.com. I hope you do because we've got a lot of free information for you there. We have articles and videos like this one and things you can download. And I just appreciate you visiting. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up wherever you're watching it, whether that's Facebook or YouTube or on my blog. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, or share it with people in your circle. This is Charlie Page. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an excellent day.